Hi everybody. So we are going to do another day of factoring using GCF. So pause the video and do the do now. Alright, so this is double distributing. Oh, I'm on yellow. I don't want to be on yellow. It's so hard to read. So x times x plus 5 plus 3 times x plus 5. So that gives us x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. Those middle two go together. x squared plus 8x plus 15. And then number two, just a regular distributing. 3 times 9 is 27. x squared. 3 times 2 is 6. Add our exponents. 2 plus the invisible 1 gives us a 3. All right, let's write down the steps. So what are the first steps when we're factoring using GCF? We'll write in the name, we need to find the GCF, right? Find the GCF of all terms of the polynomial. So if there's two terms, it's the GCF of two. If it's three, GCF of three. Once we find the GCF, we divide because it's, remember, it's the opposite of distributing. When you distribute, you multiply so when we factor, we divide. So after we divide, though, remember it's an expression. You're not allowed to just divide magically. We want to write it as a product. The whole point of this is to write it as something being multiplied. Put your answer in parentheses and put the GCF in front to turn the problem or expression into a distributive property problem. It want, you want it to look like a distributor property. All right, so pause the video and do these two. All right, so number one, I identify my GCF. My GCF is 4x, and then what's smaller, 3 or 5? 3. Always take the smaller x. I divide both my terms. 2x squared, 5 minus 3 is 2, plus seven because my x cubes cancel out. Now then you want to check can anything go into the 2x squared and the 7? No. Put parentheses around it. 4x to the third on the outside and we are done. That we turned it into a problem that looks like we're supposed to distribute. Number two, what is the GCF? So since there's no number in front of x squared, it's just a plain x. So we divide, x squared divided by x is x, 5x divided by x is 5, parentheses, GCF on the outside. So in both of these, if we distributed, we'd get back to where we started. All right, pause the video again, try it on your own. So I'm going to separate these, I think it can be easier. So it's going to be 7, right, 35 and 42 is 7 x, and then what's smaller, 2 or 5? The 2. So when I divide, I get 5, my x squared cancel, minus 6, x, subtract, 5 minus 2 is 3. Check, does anything go into those? No. Divide, parentheses, like that. All right, so now let me show you one where, we, where I'm going to make a mistake. Let's say I think the GCF here is 5. Looks like it could be 5. And then we have x and x to the 6, so x. Now when I divide that, what do I get? The x's cancel. I get 6 minus 3x to the 5th. But what do you notice? I can divide again. So I'm going to divide again. I can divide by 3. So 2 minus x to the fifth. So what goes on the outside then? Well, we had this 3, and we have the 5x. 3 times 5x is 15x. So that was actually the GCF. So you can kind of tell if you made a silly mistake if you can divide again. All right, last page. This is it. All right, find your GCF. All right, let's see. The GCF here is 20, 
and then take your smaller x, x to the fourth, x to the fourth. Now, this one a lot of kids make mistakes with. So 60 divided by 20 is 3x to the third. And then they try to do that. What's wrong with that? This is sad. You can't, you, you, even though those cancel, they don't cancel to zero. What do they cancel to? They cancel to one. Sorry, I accidentally closed the video. They cancel to one, right? 20 divided by 20 is one. So it's 3x to the third minus one parentheses GCF out front. So be careful with that. That's a really common mistake. 20 divided by 20 is 1. All right, now this last one's a little tricky. What is the GCF of 81 and 49? No numbers go into those. So our GCF here is just X. So I gave you those numbers on purpose because it feels like there should be something that goes into them, but nothing does. So we get 81X plus 49, parentheses, x on the outside. Done. All right, so I would like you to do J1, factoring GCF, for 20 minutes. I put smart score 20 minutes. Okay, a smart score of 80 or spend 20 minutes. So that's what I would like you to do um, for the rest of the class, and then you do have a homework assignment on top of that. So again, smart score of 80 or spend 20 minutes on it. If you start to have a meltdown because you're getting stuff wrong, email me and be like, Miss Vizone, I'm struggling with this. All right, and then you also have worksheet number five. And that is the lesson, and we will move on next week. Have a fabulous weekend, guys.